What's going on, everybody? Welcome to my channel. If you've seen the video I made here a while back, uh, talking about old school survival resources, it was books. And uh, in one of those books, it was talking about the honey locust trees and those little thorns, big thorns actually, that grow on them. I guess uh, indigenous people used to use those as weapons. So I got to thinking, uh, see if I can do that with that blow dart gun that I made a video on here a while ago. So I'm going to go back here and uh, pick some of those off of there and we'll get started. But safety first, put my gloves on. These things suck. <clears throat> There you go. Try to make a dart out of one of those. I'm thinking maybe this end here. These are pretty dead though, so I don't know how well it's going to work, but it'll be good enough for an experiment. Oh, the joys of filmmaking. <clears throat> I just sat here and wrapped the, wherever it went, the inside strand from 550 cord around the bigger end of that honey locust thorn and melted it in place and got it to about the right size to go in the blow dart gun. And uh, getting ready to go test it and realized it wasn't recording. Don't you love it? Oy vey. So we'll uh, go test this and see what happens from there. Maybe I'll try to make another one. Who knows? Okay, I didn't dare pause that, so hopefully I can edit out all that crap I just did. But this is only probably about eight foot from this tree to the camera. I already have the dart loaded in here. Let's see if it works. And here comes another car. Well, it flew, but it didn't fly very well. <sighs> of course, I can't find it. Okay, well, this is what I come up with. This is like take three. That's going to be fun trying to edit this video. But anyway, I took the inner strands of the 550 cord and wrapped it around the end of this honey locust thorn. I think I'm going to melt some of that down a little bit more. Especially that straggler sticking up. Try to get that in place. Maybe I should just use the fire that's behind me. A little more secure. <sighs> All right, let's see if it, uh, how it fits in there. Pretty good. All right. Load this baby up. <sighs> I'm going to shoot that tree right there. It's like eight foot away. See how it works. It flew. Didn't stick, but it flew. I'm sure with enough practice messing around with these, I could figure out the right formula to get this to work. I figured that this. Um, strands from the 550 cord might be a little too heavy and make it not fly right. Yeah, I think I'm right. But I have probably millions of these thorns I can practice with. I need to find one that's a little bit longer so this end's kind of heavier. <sighs> well, see, I told you I'm not a professional. This is just me screwing around trying to learn stuff and take you with me. 
this going in the fire. <sighs> well, that's uh, all for this week's crappy video. I was looking forward to making this one, and <laughs> it didn't work as, out as well as I'd hoped. But thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Wow, sun's always just wrong angle, ain't it? If you remember a few weeks back when I was doing my video on the blow dart gun, I lost that dart. If you've seen, stuck around and watched the video after the thank, thank you for watching, please subscribe thing, I lost one of the blow darts in here. I was trying to find it. I mentioned <clears throat> getting the metal detector out. That's what we're doing today. Oh yeah, I got my gloves on too. Safety first, because my luck, I'll pick up the pointy end. Apparently Milo's going to help too. Down more honey locust thorns. Would you look at that? I found it. I don't think the metal detector actually helped me so much as just raking through the leaves with my hands. <sighs> well, that completely sucked. Yeah, this probably won't even make it on the air, but if it did, thanks for watching.